This little video is going to be showing you guys the 22mm RGB buttons that we sell and some of the different ways they can be wired up. So these are the black halo buttons, these are the stainless halo buttons, and these are the black backlit buttons. So the backlit is because the etching lights up on those. So they can be wired up to be uh, many different colors when they're pushed and not pushed, that sort of thing. So. This one is a momentary button. It's what you'd use for engine start, horn, nitrous purge, that sort of thing. And latching buttons. You generally use these for uh, engine fans, fuel pump, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to wire these up to be positive trigger and ground trigger and get the color changes. Before we get into the wiring, I just want to show you guys where to find these buttons on the website. So. Go into Google, type in billet buttons, billet automotive buttons. Once you get to the website, you can select online store or just use the drop down menu. Go to the 22mm billet buttons, uh, select a button. Once you get into there, scroll down and click on the button LED. And down the bottom there, RGB 3 LED. So that's where you find them. Alright, here we have the diagrams. And just to show you guys on the back of these buttons you'll see that there's four LED pins and then there's four switch pins. And there's a little black dot, a red dot, and then a green dot down there on the button. So those dots actually represent the LED colors. And these are the harness plugs. So they need to be put on the right way to match up with the dots. So this red wire needs to go to the red dot on the back of the button. Because you put it upside down, it's not gonna work. So. So getting into these wiring diagrams, 22mm RGB buttons, this is just the basic pin out of how they work. So there's a normally closed and a normally open circuit on the buttons. And there's four pins for the LEDs. So there's a common positive, which is actually the black wire. So normally you would run that to an ignition positive when you're installing it, so that when you turn the ignition on, that's when the buttons will light up. And then there's a red, the blue, and the green, and all they need to do is see a ground signal, and that's what makes the lights come on. So that's how you can join the colors together and create the purple and all that sort of stuff. So I'll move down to the positive switching, and I'll zoom out so you guys can pause the video and have a look. So that's the positive switching wiring. White to green, and then here's the, the ground switching. So essentially all that's happening is um, this one here will be ground triggering. So we'll be sending a ground signal through the button and this diagram will be sending a positive switch. So it'll be sending out 12 volt positive to be triggering a relay, ECU, that sort of thing. So essentially all that's happening here to get the color change is using the white wires. It is taking ground away from uh, so for this white to green, the blue and the red wire, when the button's pushed in, it's just taking away the ground from the blue and the red. And essentially that's what's making it go to the green, because the green has a ground, and the white wires are removing the ground from these two wires. So if you want other colors, all you need to do is swap the wires around. So you can put the blue wire, you can swap it with the green LED wire, red wire, you can swap them around and get all different sorts of colors. But just keep in mind when wiring this up that the um, common positive, it needs to go to some sort of a switched ignition source because otherwise the light's just going to stay on all the time. So that positive for the this common positive here, it needs to go to some sort of ignition positive otherwise you're just going to get a flat battery because the lights are going to stay on. So, I've had these buttons for sale for a long time on the website and it's taken me a long time to put a diagram, like a proper diagram up for these buttons. So, finally got the diagram up so to help you guys use these buttons. So I've noticed they're actually not very popular on the website but I'm assuming it's because a lot of people don't know they exist or they don't know how to wire them up or they might think they need an RGB controller to wire them up. But essentially you don't need an RGB controller. Um, the LED wires, they just work off pretty much ground signals. So it's very simple to wire these up to come on and off and um, 
then you get a, a nice indication that the button's on and the button's off. So 